Hey, I'm Cameron Dallas, and I'm here to spill the tea behind my tune, Helpless. I've drank like so much tea in the last like two weeks. I was in New York for the first time doing Broadway, which is like super random. At the beginning of the song, I've fallen in love with feeling helpless. I know it's not healthy. I got out of rehab and I was there. It was my second time in rehab. I was there for like 42 days. And it was my first time in the studio back. And me and my friend E-Man, who I covered with the song with, we were basically talking about what we wanted to write because me and my uh, team were trying to find a song that fit where I was at right now because I made, up a lot of, I made a lot of songs that were in my addiction that didn't necessarily make sense for me to put out right now. While I was in my addiction, towards the end when it got started to get like really bad, I had this like weird draw to like the darkness. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but like this feeling of being helpless, like. I was so comfortable with feeling helpless that, and I was like drawn to it. I've, I became like really comfortable with feeling that. So basically what that means is I thought that I was doomed to like stoop down as far as I could go with like the rest of my life. Like I was like, every day was like a big sigh for me and I was kind of just like, how much worse can my life get? And every time something bad happened, I was like, yup. And I don't know, my life was kind of on track to just keep going down. And I was waiting to like get to the very bottom of it, but that never happened. And being an addict, you they, they talk about it, you either end up in jail or dead. So every time I felt happy, I felt like I wasn't being true to myself and I would check myself and I felt like I was faking it. Or any time like something good happened in my life, it I, I did something up and I became super comfortable with feeling like and yeah, I fell in love with feeling helpless. Like I couldn't get myself out of the situation and I was perfectly fine with it. I think for me what it takes to get out of this situation or feeling helpless or anything like that, I think for me one of the biggest things was surrounding myself with different people. You know, I was around people that always wanted to go out or they were always depressed or they were always sad or something was always wrong. I think that was a big thing for me. Also, going to rehab, working on the problems instead of running from them. I've done so much therapy, it's like crazy. IOP for three months, still seeing a therapist, like group therapy, art therapy, music therapy, like anything, that helped a lot. And instead of running from my problems and going out drinking and fueling that part of my addiction, I decided to just get help and work out the problems that I was running from. I know that it's hard, the cycle that I'm in is taking all my energy. This is basically talking about the cycle of addiction, waking up, feeling like feeling depressed, not talking to anyone, going through the day, starting to feel a little better, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go out tonight. Then you go out, you do your thing, drink, stay out till five in the morning, go into bed. I was basically in this cycle of addiction that I couldn't get out of, and it was taking all my energy. Like, I couldn't maintain relationships, I couldn't even maintain myself. Yeah, it was taking all my energy, I couldn't do anything. Stuff that gives me good energy, my dog Bandit, love him, my family. Really, that, that was a big one, like going back to Chino, where I'm from, and like surrounding myself with my family and my best friends, that uh, really helped like settle me. I did a lot of like soul searching and like praying. Being out in the sun helps a lot. Just doing like activities out, outside of the house, making myself do things and not staying in my house, that, that helps a lot. I can see on my face in the mirror I'm not happy and I'm gonna need some help. When you're in your addiction, it's kind of like, you know that your life is going to and like I said, you're, you're just like okay with it, you're comfortable with it, you're like how can it get? And then it just keeps getting worse. And I had to make a decision in my life like, do I wanna continue down this path or do I wanna try and get better? And that's kind of like the point where I decided to look myself in the mirror per se and make that decision like, do I wanna continue in my life or do I wanna try and fix it. I decided to go get help. I've been drinking too much, smoking all night, messing with the wrong girls. Nothing feels right. Every time I go out, someone wants to pick a fight, spend all of my money. I guess my mama was right. Super self-explanatory. I was drinking a lot, every night, every day. 
I would wake up and Postmates like a bottle of Hennessy or a bottle of Jack and like do my thing. Then I'd fall asleep, wake up, go out that same night, just like trying to escape, trying to feel better. And I started getting into fights. You know, I got arrested, spent all of my money. <laughs> I went broke. My addiction drained everything that I worked for and like my mom was right, cause she would tell me. Some of the things that stuck out to me while I was in rehab are the things that like I find myself telling other people. It's progress, not perfection. And what that means to me is like every time while I was in my addiction, I'd be like, damn, I like I need to try and get help and like I would try to get better and it wouldn't be up to my standards or it wouldn't be perfect. I would be really hard on myself and I wouldn't take that progress that I made. I wouldn't accept that and be happy that I made progress. I would just like throw it out the window and continue in my addiction. And uh, I found myself kind of repeating that and letting other people know, not just in rehabilitation, but just everything in life. You know, it's like, it's progress, not perfection. And I feel like I've really stuck to that for a while now. And it's been doing, doing some good for me. I've had decent luck at hiding all this darkness inside me, and I wish on every star one day I could stop. I think I've had enough. Basically, this is like, I've had really good luck at hiding all of the things that I've been doing, all like the bad that I was doing, and like I made it pretty far without letting people see that I was messing up. And then I wish on every star that one day I could stop. I think I've had enough. Like I said, when you're in your addiction, you know you're in it, and you, you like really wish you could stop, but you just keep going and you're not really sure why. I think I've had enough. That's that part where I decided to look myself in the mirror and just get help. If I could collaborate with anyone, it'd probably be Drake or Sublime or Chiodos. Some songs that I have on repeat are um, Numbers by Boogie Wood Hoodie and Roddy Rich. Slow Down with Skip Marley and Her. I think I'm lucky. I keep telling my girlfriend this, and it, it doesn't make sense, but I tell her that like, I'm, I'm very lucky, and she's like, what does that mean? And then we'll, we'll start talking, I'm like, but I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in luck, but I'm very lucky, whatever that means.